So you want to open on a mid shot and then cut to a wide shot and there's dialogue in both. Yeah, so if you want the audio to be the same, you record a static wide shot with the mic really close, then you film the scene again, remove the mic, use that as a clean plate and mask it out in post. There has to be camera movement in the wide shot. Oh yeah, it can be done. But how? Alright YouTube, I don't know why you'd want to achieve this technique, maybe you've got rubbish lapels, or maybe you just want to make a video about how to achieve this technique on YouTube. Either way, it's easily done, you use the same basic principle as the static shot, but this time you need a rig that can recreate the same motion over and over again. Now I'm using my iFootage Shark Slider Nano to achieve that, but there are plenty of other options available. For example, you can hire a motorized slider relatively cheaply these days. Anyway, that's enough from me, let's get to more of me in Premiere. So I've got my shot here with the microphone in. What I need to do is find my clean plate, which is up here. I've already marked the in and out point that I want to try and use. Let's drag that down onto here and then we can line it up. So I can see if you look up here, I need to copy and paste some motion attributes from my main clip into the clean plate. Now, if we turn the opacity down on this, then we can start to line this up and make sure that we've got the right shot. So I can see that they're not lined up quite right here. So what we're going to do is zoom into this, move all the clips over, and then we can start to move our clean plate until it lines up perfectly with our master shot. And there, I think that's done it. So we only needed to nudge it one frame. And then we basically apply the same effect as before. So we're going to take a mask, zoom out so that we can see everything. And we're going to cut out the area that we want to keep. We're going to feather that up a little bit. We're going to go to our first frame. And on our mask path, we're going to track that mask. Then we're going to click inverted, crank the opacity up and see what that gives us. And there you go. We now have a wide shot with camera movement with good audio. I love this technique. It's so effective and yet relatively simple to pull it off. There are, however, a couple of things to be aware of. Firstly, don't have anyone enter the same space as the microphone because you will have to use some mad wizardry to mask that out. Secondly, try to keep your lighting as consistent as possible. If your lighting changes too much, it will make it really hard to match the clean plate and your master shot. Also, look out for your microphone casting shadows in your master shot, as again, that will be really hard to mask out. You can also use this technique to create some other cool effects, like cloning yourself or a subject in the same shot. Now go out and have fun making stuff, but first, why not watch some more cool stuff about camera movement? See you in the next one. Peace!